skinny raw bars are the subject of today's food for thought. My name is Jody Bunting and this is a daily live health tip to help you lose weight. Now we've talked about these before. Uh, last time we talked about the chocolate brownie one and today I'm going to taste test the raspberry white chocolate variety. So this is the raspberry and white chocolate variety. Uh, for those of you who don't know what skinny raw bars are, Skiddy bars have been out for a while uh, and they basically are a low quality snack bar. Now the reason they're so low quality is because they contain artificial sweeteners. Um, for those of you who know anything about artificial sweeteners, it's chemicals. It's things that actually slow down your weight loss uh, and can actually uh, affect your health as well. So raw basically means raw ingredients, real ingredients. These haven't got any artificial sweeteners in, guys. This is why they're so good. Also, they're high in fiber. And what it is, is pressed fruit and nuts. So that's all that's in it, guys. And this is why they've got the lovely raw name. Uh, less than 99 calories. This flavor has got 92 calories in. Uh, and you get three of these little bars for a pound. So they're available from Poundland, from Home Bargains, from uh, B&M, uh, all the discounted uh, retailers, not available, haven't seen them in actual supermarkets. I do believe Morrison's or Asda, somewhere like that, do sell them. Uh, if you go on the uh, Skinny Bars website, uh, it has got a list of all the stockists. And it's also got an online order. So if you'd like to order 10 boxes for a tenner, which means 30 of these bars for a tenner, then you can order them on the website. Uh, and Catherine's left a comment here saying the best flavour is the chocolate brownie and as to sell them. Catherine, amazing giving me all that info. Um, but yes, the chocolate brownie is the favourite, but because these are so popular, I thought I would do a little review on the other two flavours. Uh, this is the second flavour. The third flavour is the caramel fudge, which we will talk about at a later date. So, Let's do the ingredients on here, guys. So the biggest ingredient is dates. There is 68% dates. Then coconut flour, um, oligo fructose. I don't know what that is, but anything with a fructose is basically means it's fruit sugar. Uh, white chocolate chips, 7%. In those white chocolate chips are sugar, whole milk powder, cocoa butter, skimmed milk powder, emulsifier, which is soy lectin, vanilla flavouring. The next ingredient is ground almonds, 2%, sunflower oil, which for those of you who know your oils is not a good thing, uh, rice flour, freeze-dried raspberries, 1%, oh that's sad, only 1%, apple juice concentrate, acidity regulator which is citric acid and natural flavorings um, now today we were talking about ultra pro processed foods now this is definitely processed guys so you can tell by the amount of ingredients here some of my slimmers have been making these their own and i showed you that video a couple of weeks ago how you can make these yourself um, but these are definitely better than artificial sweetener and really processed bars i would say they were classed as processed but you wouldn't really class them as ultra processed foods that's the difference shall we give it a try Let's break it open. Now, I actually haven't tried one of these before. I know some of you see me as the skinny bars guru because I've been going on about them for months and months. But I actually haven't tried these other flavours yet. So I'm actually a little bit excited right now. So here it is, guys. So it's raspberry and white chocolate. And as you heard by the ingredients list, there's only 1% raspberry. But I can smell it. <laughs> this is why I just love raspberries, because it does smell so strong, because it's unrecognisable. Uh, and the white chocolate chips was 7%. So there's more chocolate in there than actual raspberries. Shall we give it a try? Nice. 
I'm going to go for a second opinion. Excuse me. I can definitely taste the white chocolate. Got a little crunch to it. I might as well just down the whole thing, I know. That's the third and final piece. The more I'm eating, the more I'm feeling the raspberry. And the less I'm tasting the white chocolate. But very nice. I would probably agree with Catherine. The chocolate brownie one was stronger, therefore it was delicious. But for some reason, even though it's only got 1% raspberry in, you could really taste that. And if you love raspberries like me, uh, this one is going to be a winner for you. Uh, if you would like more information, I have tagged the Skinny Bars uh, page in. So if you'd like more information, go have a look on there. As I said, these raw ones are the only ones that haven't got artificial sweetener in. So you need to be really careful with that one. Uh, Catherine say... They override the taste is dates. Oh, yeah, the overriding taste is dates, yes. So all these raw bars, including the naked bars, which are the original uh, pressed fruit bars, all of them are made with dates. So this is the sweetness that you can tell, because obviously there's no real sugar in here. Um, so if you don't like dates initially, then this is where... Um, you may not like bars like this because it does taste like fruit sugar opposed to normal just sugar. Um, and this is where the chocolate brownie one is so good because the chocolate and the nuts are so flavoursome. It takes away from the dates uh, flavour. Uh, and again, this is what Catherine is saying. This is why people might not like these as much because you can taste the dates where the others you can taste the other ingredients. Right, guys, thank you for joining us today. That is the end of today's Food for Thought. As always, uh, leave us a little comment. What are your favourite uh, bars, skinny raw bars, or what are your favourite raw natural bars, which are not ultra processed? processed. Thank you for joining us, uh, and we'll see you again next time. Night, night.